The Republican contenders are debating tonight at Dartmouth College in New Hampshire. Frontrunner Mitt Romney is expected to be a target for his rivals, but he is armed now with a key endorsement from Governor Chris Christie of New Jersey. Political correspondent Jan Crawford is in New Hampshire. Jan? Scott, you know, expectations were high for Romney going into tonight's debate. It's on the economy. That's his signature issue. But his campaign got a big boost even before he takes that stage. In his typical no-nonsense style, Christie got straight to the point. America cannot survive another four years of Barack Obama, and Mitt Romney is the man we need to lead America, and we need him now. The announcement came only a week after Christie crushed the hopes the of some Republicans of Jersey, when he announced he would not run we'll for president. Christie's endorsement foot allows foot Romney to claim that he New is the choice of the GOP establishment. Uh, he's a man who has a uh, following of a lot of folks across this country. Romney has retaken the top position in the polls after falling behind Texas Governor Rick Perry. Perry, who entered the race just two months ago, has struggled in his first three debates. I kind of feel like the pinata here at the party. <laughs> the latest Gallup poll shows Perry falling from first place with 29% in August to 15% this week. Romney is back out front with 20%. And now Perry has competition for the Tea Party vote from businessman Herman Cain, who surged past him to second with 18%. Perry was hoping to use tonight's debate on the economy to jumpstart his campaign and to move beyond recent remarks by one of his supporters about Romney's religion. Pastor Robert Jeffress last week called Mormonism a cult and said Romney is not a Christian. Both Christie and Romney said today that Perry's handling of the matter was wrong. Any campaign that associates itself with that type of conduct um, is beneath the office of President of the United States, in my view. And I would call upon uh, Governor Perry to repudiate the, the sentiment and the remarks made by that pastor. Now, all this, of course, only heightens the expectations and the pressure on Perry to perform tonight. Obviously, tensions very high here. But even if he stumbles tonight, Scott, it is too soon to count him out. He has raised $17 million already, and that is more than enough to keep his campaign going while he works to get things back on track. Well, Jan, this is a high-profile endorsement, but I wonder how much impact do you think it'll have on voters? Well, that's right. I mean, it's true that endorsements don't necessarily translate into votes, but this one is significant because a lot of those big-time donors, those prominent conservatives who've been pushing Chris Christie to get into this race, now are starting to go to Romney. And with today's announcement, Romney's only going to sew up that support and that money. Jan, thank you very much.